is Hudisho Pache, and I'm from the Johannesburg cohort for 2023. So Johannesburg is a very diverse city, and um, I love Johannesburg because it's one of the cities in South Africa where all different types of people come from, again, different provinces or states. And it's, it's, it's really a, like an uh, economic hub of South Africa. And it's great because it's diverse. So you get there, everybody is speaking a different language. And I just love that about it because it just brings people from different places in the country together. I had a couple of friends that had joined the 2022 cohort in Johannesburg. And one of my close friends um, actually suggested that I try join the 2023 cohort. And he told me about how it was about work and faith. And I remember him borrowing me a, a book by Tim Keller, Every Good Endeavor. is like, read this book. And after reading it, let's chat about it. And then I read it. I didn't finish it, but I read most of it. And I just loved the concept that he was putting uh, forward that God has called us to, like work was there even before the fall. And the only thing that distorted that was, was, was sin. Essentially, the way I kind of used to view work before um, joining this was, I was of the idea that my main focus or my, my, my primary way that I'm gonna bring the gospel into the workplace is by starting Bible studies like starting Bible studies in the workplace during lunches or breaks. But now I'm just seeing more than ever that the primary way of bringing the gospel is by doing your work excellently. And, and that's what you, you do to glorify God. What I've learned um, during the, this 2023 season is kind of getting or letting go of the concept of dualism that you don't have two different lives you don't have a secular life and a holy life that these two th these two things actually one thing like god has called us to live one life that is in pursuit of him and his glory so that's been one of the things that i've learned and something that i've learned um, at this global conference is essentially that we're meant to do all of these things through the the help of the holy spirit that controls us no strategy no new innovative idea will make me pursue Christ more. So that's been one of my takeaways. I think something that I've really been leaning towards is how, so I'm an attorney and the legal profession, especially for attorneys has been, has a very bad perspective when it comes to attorneys, I think. Every single time I speak to somebody about being an attorney, the first joke that comes up is about how attorneys are liars, they don't have integrity, or yeah, they just don't have anything good to contribute to society. And I think one of my calls or like my callings that I feel like I'm I'm led to is just debunking that I mean like God has put attorneys in this in this field for a specific reason. Yeah. You know? So uh, I'm really passionate about seeing how God can use me through his Holy Spirit to just bring about um, change in those perspectives and practices. I would definitely let them or ask them, what is it or like, how do they see the gospel playing out in what they do every day? And I would just encourage them to join um, Resource Global alongside with their peers who are also trying to figure out what it is that God is calling them to. And I think through that, they'll see not only that work is a beautiful thing created by God, but also that we're meant to use that to have thriving cities.